Hello, it's Doc Progeny here, and today I'm going to show how to import drop down lists into Progeny. I've had a question from one of our Australian users about how to display the states and provinces uh, in a drop down. So, the first thing you need to do is actually get that list of provinces, uh, and what I would suggest doing is using Google. Um, for example, you'll see here I've done a Google search for a file of Australian territories. Um, as you'll see as I run through here, there's one here for download Excel file list of states and territories. That's the one I've used. Of course, be careful when downloading anything from the internet because it can have viruses, so scan as you go along. So I've done that already, and this is the file that I received in Excel. It's a comma separated file. It's got some extra bits that I don't want. I don't want the ranking, for example, so I'm just going to delete out these extra rows and literally just have that first column basically and I'll get rid of that one as well. Once I've done this I'm simply going to go actually I'm going to also get rid of that first one we don't need that either we we know that these are states and territories I'll delete that one as well. So I'm going to save this as on my computer just save it on my desktop, I think, to make it nice things nice and easy. So let's go to desktop. And I'm actually going to save it as text tab delimited because that's really the format that I want to use. Okay, I'd suggest doing the same. Okay, so that's great. That's all saved. I can close that off, answer all the annoying questions, and click Excel just don't save. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Progeny now. So I'm going to take that out of the way. And I'm going to go down to the Fields tab at the bottom here. So you see Fields. I'm then going to choose the location for this particular field I want to create. And I'm going to save it here in Basic Data. So I'm going to click New Field. I'm just going to call that New Field State slash Province slash territory like so and I'm going to make that a drop down menu like so then I'm going to you select the load list option here and I'm going to go back to my desktop select that file that I just saved click open and then you should see a nice long list of the particular ones. It's also in rank order because it was in the original Excel spreadsheet which is quite useful. Now it's fairly easy for the Australian ones there are only 15, 16 or so. Um, you could do all the cities, uh, counties in the United Kingdom for example. So I think you'll find that's pretty useful. Uh, then I'm just going to click add and that's now added it to the database. Now if I want to now go and show this on a data sheet I'm just going to go to any individual in this case in the cancer pedigrees, open up that data sheet like so and you'll see here, I'm going to just switch this to the cancer pedigrees format. You'll see here we've got some basic information. State and province is actually also already a field. But let's get rid of the existing one because I'm now working in Australia. Go back to basic data, select this state province territory like so and then just drag and drop that onto my data sheet. I'm just going to move it. It's a little bit ugly, but I'm going to leave it there for the moment just because I really all I want to do is show now how this works. And then now I have the drop down menu of all those options. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how I've done that or, or any other lists, or if you'd like a copy of the lists I have, uh, just ask me. But Google is a pretty good resource for finding what you need. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it and speak to you soon.